Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to Tyranny. In the last episode we got a bit sidetracked from our main objective uh, because originally I was planning to go to either meet the, voice of, the voices of Nerad, the Arcan of Secrets and the leader of, re, leader of the Scarlet Chorus in case you have forgotten about him or go to... Uh, uh, what was the place's name? Uh, Kaidon Village? Something with C anyway. So or, or either go there to make sure that the uh, uh, that the disfavored are, are getting their stock of iron without any disturbances. So, but, but anyway, then I no noticed that hey, we got this one side quest, uh, side quest to do something about killing some scaven scavengers, unbroken scavengers, or something like that. I, I don't even remember anymore. Anyway, we went to we went to do that quest, and then um, we, we 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 found this one place where there were lots of. Scarlet Chorus, disfavored, uh, disfavored, and, un and un unbroken soldiers' bodies and scattered on, scattered all, all over the place. And then there were once again those pain sons of bitches waiting for us. And after a few failed attempts, we finally managed to beat them barely. And then we we pulled out this one sword from our stone. It uh, it uh, it was it was uh, it was as if I was I I was I was picking up the Excalibur sword from the from the uh, stone. Uh, as if I was King Arthur or something. But anyway, let me show you the sword. The sword actually, we got this badass here, Dauntless. Um, apparently, this is a very uh, valuable artifact, um, or at least a very, a very powerful sword with his, with history, with lots of history within the people of Star Wars. But anyway, now I got it, and it looks badass. This whole character looks very badass, kind of like a Roman. I don't know. Uh, Roman barbarian a gladiator like sol soldier back in the times of Rome, uh, glory times of Rome. That's what it, that's what I kind of look like. And then uh, then after that we finally de uh, finally decided to go to Cato's village, whatever the place's name was again, to ma uh, to make uh, because because from 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 what I recall the Scarlet Chorus raiders are constantly attacked attacking this favorite. Uh, and trading caravans or something like that, but then, uh, but then we, but then we were ambushed, so to speak, uh, at crossroads by the Bronze Brotherhood, and the Bronze Brotherhood are basically a, basically a band of a band of mercenaries who who think that Leiden's Crossing, where we are right now, belongs to them, and their leader Romulus or what the he or what the hell heck ever that douchebag's name was again. He doesn't like us very much, and he and he made that pretty goddamn clear. And he claims that Leiden's crossing is crossing is theirs, even though this place is obviously part of Kairos' empire. I I let him know that, and he didn't like what what, what I was saying. And then I then I, finally I was like, ah, screw it, I'm just gonna fucking kill you right here and now and be done with it. But as a coward as he was, he 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 ran away back to Leiden's crossing, or so I or so I, I assume, and sent his guards to kill us. And well well, we killed them instead. All right, so that's pretty much it. And now we're at Legion's Crossing. But anyway, I I have been talking way too much, way too much for starters. So let's get get this on. Get get let's get started. Hmm? Oh, so I so it was Legion's Crossing where I had to go for go for to make sure that that the Forge Bound are making weapons for the disfavored. Yeah, 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 yeah. I confused the places again. What do we have here? To battle, the Fate Fighter is here. Rise the ramps. Wait, aren't these the Scarlet Scorus soldiers? Yeah, they are. Why are they attacking me? Well, before we go, let me save real quick. Let me save real quick, folks. Well, let's see how this is going. I, Come at me. I really don't understand why are these. Scarlet Chorus uh, attacking me. I mean, yes, I know that they're not very pleased with me because I basically sided with the disfavored uh, in Vengeance Well, but really. Brave me. I mean, they do realize that they are that they are picking up picking picking up a fight with uh, Fate Binder, right? Servant of Skyros. Where is Verus? Oh, she's there. Uh, pff, go away. I don't know. Switch places. Actually, no. Don't don't do that. Just just attack her nor him normally, and then you just blast them all off like this. 
I should be able to take this guy down very easily. Not a problem, boss. <laughs> and you need some health. Uh, what else should I do? Uh, let's just send uh, an arcane missile in the oh, face. One down, good, good. Let's take him down first. What the? What the hell are you doing, Barrack? Jesus, he's he's wounded. Great. And drink a big potion. Hmm. You too, Burst. Actually, no, let's stun this guy first. There we go. These Scarlet Colors folks are not that big of a threat. I guess that these are low ranked people. Oh damn, I'm on. I'm going down. This guy's on fire. Oh, that barrack is down. Well, shit. Let's just take this woman first. And I'm wounded too. Not much point to drink a potion now. I think we can take this guy down just fine. Uh, stun him. Reverse. Make, make him. Uh, make him taste his own damn medicine and burn him. There we go. The voices of Merad has 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 some has things to answer for. His soldiers attacking me. What fools! Scarlet notebook. Maybe this has some answers. The red, the red spiral is carved, carved upon the wooden cover of this pa pa papyrus notebook. The handwriting within is hap hap haphazard and in inscrutable. The work of an un unpracticed, poorly trained and wo wordcaster. Word caster. A few entries contain recognizable sentences, and the book appears to be, a, to be the journal of a Scarlet Colors commander detailing troop movements. Times and locations are noted alongside num alongside numbers and picture pictures of trees, stick figures and rocks. The author either didn't know the words of for lumber or and people or just felt more comfortable with pictures than words. While much of the journal is inscrutable, the corner of every page has the day's he head count for the author's brigade. While some days Note, while some days note and dozens of losses, the brigade appears to be recruiting far faster than its not members are dying or deserting. Alright. So nothing about mm, ambushing me or anything. Yeah, let's have a quick rest here. And is that a... That seems to be a, one of those Bronze Brotherhood fellas. Right. Anyway, let's see what we have here. More enemies, apparently. And tons of tons and tons of loot as you can see on the map. Like there's some loot here. What's this? Ah, it's just a caring too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh where's your shield? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you have it. I wonder, do this have durabilities on anything now that I wonder? Doesn't say anywhere. So I guess so I guess that I don't need to worry about our gear or items or weapons getting broken or anything. I was just wondering where the hell his his seal is now. And more Scarlet Scarlet Colors Scarlet Furies. That's the same rank that Verse uh, has. Or at least used to have. What's this? Merchant tents are a common sight in Legion's Crossing. Yeah, I figured. Alright, I'm gonna save again here. 
Oh wait. Yeah, here. Let's see how this goes. Although maybe I should. They won't see me coming. On it. Maybe I should ambush them. Let's go right here in the middle. How they do not see, just immediately see as I do not know. But here we go. Surprise, motherfuckers! Then we're gonna use taunt on these. Verse, you just go and take down this. Yet, yet let's use hard shot like this. And EP, you just blast them all off. Hmm. Is this once per rest? All right. This could also be very not good to use. Hmm. Jesus Christ, they are screaming. Hmm. Stun her. And you're get and you're getting hammered pretty badly again, Barrack. Drink a potion. Holy crap, what was that spell? Must have been from her. Oh! Who the hell is attacking Eep? Well, she's wounded. Hmm. I'm on. They might hurt. They might hurt, but at least they are going down very fast. There we go. There are some uh, settlers who, who seem to be oh, very it's... scared. Did the Scarlet, did the Scarlet, Scarlet Chorus uh, come here trying to invade this place from the Disfavored? I actually don't... I got the idea that I gave this place for the Scarlet Chorus doing my uh, conquest decisions. When I did my conquest decisions. Uh, let rest, let's rest again. No point to try to go to a fight Sorry, I when, we are, when half, half of our, our team is wounded. Anyway, but before that, I almost forgot to pick up some loot. Just water. And here. Camping supplies and sturdy metal pole. Alright. None of you want to talk, huh? Too scared, I see. Oh, loot. It's up there, I take it. Well, we worry about that later. There should be some loot here. Oh, there it is, that sack. Lots of food and stuff. None of you... Seriously, none of you want to talk. I would love to know what the hell is going on here and why the Scarlet Chorus is attacking me. Curious. Hmm? Oh, what do we have here? Oh! Br frozen Shackle. When critically hit, damage froze versus dots radius of... Uh, what? Hmm. Ah, when critically hit, damage. So basically, if we are critically hit, then we deal some damage in return. Alright. Uh, Verse, did you have anything? No. Might as well, might as well give it to her then. Better that than nothing. Now, what was that? This is this is the junction point for two waterfalls that pull over the top of the old walls. All right, and I get, there is no way to get up up there from this side. I take it. Guess we better just go go across this. A lower bridge, force the winch. Just lower the bridge. Why force it if we if we can just uh, pull it down like that? More Scarlet Chorus. That's strange because I because I thought that didn't, I thought that this was the uh, Bronze Brotherhood's uh, territory or so they claim. Oh wait, 
Maybe the Bronze Brotherhood and the Scarlet Colors are working together. That would make sense. Before we go there, let's check this place for loot. Might we not simply break it? Broken hilt. Mm hmm. Investigate this item. Yeah, maybe I will when I get the chance. I am out of practice, but I'll try. Oh yeah, those mushrooms. I should, I should add them to the inventory. Uh, didn't you have? Where are your mushrooms? I'm quite sure you had more than just one. I'm quite damn sure. Quite damn sure. What the hell? Did I sell them off? No, I... I don't think I did. Uh, well, fuck, I guess I did then. Shit. Well, let's give a revival mushrooms to uh, Barrick because we need him to be alive. Can't do that. To tank for us. Damn it. Was I really that stupid that I sold all those revival mushrooms? There's some loot here as well. Caring too much. Yeah, yeah. Gonna save here as well. Hmm? Was that a beast man that I just saw? Well, look at that. Yes, it is a beast man. Oh yeah, a oh, beast woman rather, but yeah, now that I think about it, I, I do remember uh, making the decision in doing my conquest decisions that 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 we should that we should uh, capture and take the beast men to work to work for us as um, to do some to do manual labor. Yeah, I think I that's the decision I made, so that's why they are here. This is going to be tough. Slow down, slow down. Uh, hmm. Jesus Christ, we are losing health fast. Mm, not yet. Oh wait, I did press the damn potion, damn it. This is better. Although verse is in is in deep trouble. What what does this do? Hmm. I see. Wounds removed. Oh, this I love this. But take a potion for now. Oh shit! Oh shit! That hurt like hell. Where are you anyway? Oh, you are there. Out of all places. And did use your taunt already? Well, fuck me. Got dark all. I can't use the damn. I can't pick her. I can't select her when she's down. Well, fuck. What kind of a use is that revival potion then? Jesus Christ, these guys hurt. There we go, we are getting somewhere. Take that. that. Barrack is in a very shitty state, but hey, at least he got one of those mushrooms. 
back here. No! Not going down. What? I thought that didn't. I thought. I thought that thing died. Well, shit. My mistake there. Heart of the storm. Use that. Uh, why isn't Barry raising up? Raising up. He got the mushroom, didn't he? And I have no potions here. Fuck me. Like that. Whatever you need. I got it. There we go. Only one more left. Suffocate that son of a bitch. And I make him bleed. I love that electricity. Hmm. Just arcane missiles in the face. Ah no, just keep hitting. There we go. That was tough, but why didn't? Uh, well, as the last of the enemy soldiers dies, uh, life returns to normal in Leiden's Crossing. All right. Now maybe maybe people uh, likes to talk to me. Anyway, Jesus Christ, what do we have here? Hmm. Not very good boots, not very good. What's this? Note from the voice of Nerad. There we go. The simple message message is, is scrawled in big letters, likely for the comprehension of the recipient. Sent armor making lady Sent armor making lady to me. Mm -hmm. Below the text you see a crude stick figure and drawing of what you think is the voice of Nerad in the in the front of a forge bound smith. The forge bound's arms are tied together while a couple of co chorus soldiers stand behind her with weapons drawn. I see. Did voice of did voice of voice of Nerad want one of those specific uh, force bo force bounders for himself? Caring too much to make weapons for the chorus. So anyway, why the hell didn't you? I might have to activate this by myself. Ah, I have to take it before I fall unconscious. Well, duh. Damn it. And rest again. Now then. Now, do these people want to talk to me? Merchant Helena. Fine day, my friend. Might I interest you in my wares? I have all manner of goods I know you need. Could you tell me anything about this seal? I found it in Vengeance Well. Uh, what seal? Sorry, I can't help you. I've never seen anything like that before. Alright, well tell me what you got for sale. She pats her hand on her ring belt. Let's see if we can find something you like. Holy crap! Well you got quite a lot of quite, quite a lot of things I like actually. Hmm. Maybe we could buy something for verse here, at least. Damn you got some nice stuff here. Hmm. Well we're gonna buy some camping supplies. Mm, three. Since we used quite a bit when we got here. And uh, do we have anything we want to sell off? No, well, this anyway. Hmm. Don't do anything with this. Or this. Or this. Hmm. I really should remember to use these damn items as well. But I always forget. Hmm. Anything else? Hmm, yes. I I think that's all. Now, anything we want to uh, buy for verse?
these have the exact same stats apparently. Well, we are gonna buy this for verse. Plus one accuracy, but I, I don't feel like uh, spending 30 bronze... What is this again? Bronze rings, and what is this? Copper. Yeah, copper rings. I don't exactly feel like spending 30, 30 bronze rings for one, for one uh, accu plus accuracy stat. Yeah, I... wait. Maybe I should buy this for... actually... Hmm... I guess I buy this for Eep as well. Damn, we lost lots of money, but hey, this must be... this must be worth it, right? Looks okay. Yeah. And for purse? Yeah. Now, verse looks cool with that. But we have ridiculously got a pound of money left. Yeah, yeah. Let's sell this and this away. We need some money real bad. What about you two? Good riddance to those up, up, uptight beast stutters. Can't say I care for the bloodshed, but I'm relieved the garrison is gone. Alright, and there's some loot. Nah, nothing nothing too interesting. Oh, we, so we can't go inside some of these buildings. Oh, I see. Maybe that was earlier because there was, uh, uh, there, wa uh, there was some conflict going on outside. The old walls are dangerous. I wouldn't recommend going inside. I have lost good friends to the pain, and you have no idea how many times I, I have died to the pain. You carry quite the arsenal, Fatebinder. Well, I kinda must. What do we have here? Beastman. Hate stench of human den place. Burn snout. Is bitter like bile. Alright. Let's check this place. Can we go inside these? Hmm. Greetings, Faith Pilot. Come, come and look at my wares. Well, I guess we can. Good day to you. Might I interest you in in all manner of provisions? Who knows what? Who knows what? What? What will you run into outside of Little's Crossing? Could you tell me anything about the seal? I found it in Vernon as well. Basila looks at the seal for a few moments and shakes her head. Can't say I recognize it, but I don't really get into affairs outside of Little's Crossing unless I have to. Hark, Hark and Prance might though. He seems to be well traveled. Well, show me what you got for sales. What do you got? Hmm. Potion of Heroes. Hmm, this is quite damn good. I guess we should buy. Uh, pretty much all the potions that, that they have. What's this? A oh, Crater Healing Potion. Plus 100% health. Damn. But I don't think that we, are, we need that. Hmm. 120 points stasis shield for 15 seconds. This actually sounds pretty damn good. Actually, but it costs mm, fuck tons of money. Let's just take these. Yeah, we can't be spending too much. Greetings, traveler. Would you like to? Would Would you like? You look like you could use what I have to offer. Is that so? Welcome, welcome. The merchant motions you over. What can I get you for today? Be sure to stock up before you leave. There's plenty of wilds between here and the bastard city. So, hmm, could you tell me any, any, anything about this seal? Tychus. Oh, it's Tychus from Starcraft. Tychus turns and turns it over in his hands and shakes his head. Doesn't look like any seal I've encountered. Sorry, someone else might know though. Alright, tell me what you got for sale. Hmm, interesting. Is it how much better? Not that much better, at least when it comes to the damage, and range, and armor penetration, and basically everything. And what about the verse? Yeah, it's not good. What about this bronze javelin? Hmm... I guess it's... oh wait, no. I'm looking at... comparing, comparing with the wrong weapon here. What about now? Uh, yeah, it's not that good, really. 
outbound dagger. Mm, not very good. Yeah. Step closer, Traveller. I have something just for you. Is that so? Greetings and salutations. The jolly merchant greets you with a smile and a clap on the shoulder. And welcome to Leedon's Crossing, home of the best merchant in the enti entirety of the tiers. He pauses and winks. That would be me. And you are the Fate Ponder. I would recognize you anywhere, and, and with a list of deeds as long as yours, I would be surprised if there was anyone left in the tiers who didn't. You ended the Edict of Storms at Sentinel Stand Keep, didn't you? Actually, yes, I did. Now that's a tale people will t will tell. Now that's a pe that's a tale people will be telling for years to come. I have been a merchant for far more years than I care to think, and 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 all in, and and in all that time, I have never heard people tell stories about someone like they do about you. Harkyold Bronze. Oh wait, this is the guy who travels a lot apparently, and who could know about this seal, whatever that seal is. Uh, Harshiant Bronze at your service. He bows. What can I do for you? Could you tell me anything about the seal? I found it in Vengeance Well. Hmm, let's take a look, shall we? Harkiant takes takes the seal and turns it over. When he spots the insignia, he quickly deposits it back in your hand and wipes his palms clean. Where did you get that? It came... It came from a merchant caravan that was ran ransacked. Suspected as much, he mumbles and worries his brow. So far off the normal trading roads, but why there? Why then? Why now? Maybe you could start. To, maybe you could start by telling me about the merchants. He refocuses on you, on you and nods. Of course, the, the sigil belongs to the Hand Over Gill Merchant Company. His lips tightens to form a violent pucker. All right. Tell me more about Hanover Kill. They were once a powerful trade organization that, well, he cups his mouth and glances around. Let's just say that you didn't want to get to get between them and, and a contract. What with what with Tunon's new laws in the bastard city, the guilds slunk into the shadows of Skyros's authority, trying to keep a lower profile. If you're involved in any of their dealings, stay far away. A shipment of iron and weapons went missing. It was found with this seal in a house in Echo Call Crossing. Oh, so it's that far away. Well, no wonder I don't remember. He strokes the shadow of beard in a beard grown under his chin. Suspicious, I agree. But, but, but war always has its little problems. He waves at his missile. It doesn't add up. Now, now if we can, now if we can, if we can return to the subject of my wares, he smiles and readies to show you some fancy dumb bubble. The weapons were meant for the disfavored, and the Vendrian Guard suddenly had iron weapons. The Vendrian Guard, Harkiant drums his fing fingers on his mouth and considers. Well, this changes things, I suppose. Change things. What does Han over Gil have to do with the Vendrian Guard? First things first. Harkiant clears his throat. This will come at, come at a price. If something unfortunate took place and my connection were traced back to me, the consequences would be costly. Pay thousand rings. I don't think I have that many thousand rings anymore. But then again, it, it, it depends at what, uh, what quality. Is it bronze or copper? Athletics? Have you considered that shaking me down could be even more costly? Damn right. Superfuge. You know, I'm shocked to find an honest merchant like yourself engaging in illegal trade. I mean, let's go with this. Have you considered that shaking me down could be even more costly? He studies you. A, he studies you a moment before his posture de deflates. No, I suppose not. You can make my life far more difficult in the long run, can't you? Indeed, I can. So start talking. You have lost house seal. If you breathe a word of this to anyone, I will denounce you for for the liar that you are. But, or. Uh, he looks around to make sure that there are, there are no settlers close enough to overhear what you what is being said. I received instructions from Fifth Eye to use hand over kill to deliver iron we weapons to Vendrian's well citadel. Ah, oh, is that so? The Fifth Eye. I remember that guy. Uh, so they had so so the, so they have been so the Scarlet Chorus has been help helping out Vendrian's well. Nah. Vendrian guard by sending the iron we weapons to Vendrian's well citadel. I don't question my orders. I just follow through. I don't know anything else. That, and, and that's the truth. All right. Well, let's see what he has to sell. Hmm. Uh, Two-handed sword. I don't really care about that. Bronze stacker. Is it better than what you are using, my dear? 
Actually, this fuck tons of better. Damn, I would like to buy that. I would like to buy that, but I have I, I don't have the money for it. Staff of Enigma. Slightly better DPS. And this is yeah, this is worse than what I'm wearing, luckily. Oh, however, I would like to buy this. What's this? Mantle of Mirrors. Reflect 20% of incoming hostile spells back to the casters. Oh, I like that. That would be very good for Barrack. But it costs fuck tons again. Yeah, I think I come back. back I come back to this guy when I get the chance. Anyway, let's check out uh, our journal here real quick. So was it? Uh, which was it? Not this. Evidence against the forces of Nerad. The Scarlet, the Scarlet Coast attempt to bribe you. Hmm. This voice of Nirad was using Harkent Brands to funnel weapons to the Vengeance Guard. Things are not looking very good for the voices of Nirad right now. I mean, the, the Disfavored has done some shady stuff as well, but at the but 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 at least but, but at the very least they ha they haven't been helping the enemy of the um, the enemy of the enemy of the Empire. Hmm. Alright. Oh wait, Senya can be found in the Forgebound Foundry, known simply as the Forge. It's located east of the river on the on the first tier of the Moonrise district, just above the ground floor. I th well I guess we I guess we gotta go and visit the her as well. What do we have here? Knights knights are quiet around here. Well they are now thanks to me. So wait, he said the journal said east, didn't it? And just above the crown floor, a basement. Always must work. Cannot rest. Tired pawns. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. So here, I take it. What do we have here? That's interesting. You can find a lot of trade goods here in Leadon's Crossing. Yeah, I noticed. And comes got some loot from there. Mm, is it this? Doesn't look like it. Just a couple of kids. Nah. These loading screens sure are taking their sweet time. Maybe somewhere here? Who are you? Biotus. Welcome, friend. The merchant cries out to you, his belt jingling with rings. He waves his arms about in a dramatic presentation of his wares. What brings you to my humble trading post? Have a certain something in mind or just browsing? Show me what you have for sale. Most certainly, have a look. Hmm, iron javelin. Interesting. Although it's not that much better than my sword. Hmm. But I wonder what does it even look like. But this looks damn good. Would buy that if I... Well, I have the money, but I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to waste it. Ah. Uh, Strutted Iron Corgut. Is it the same that Barrick has? Yeah, it is. Well, right. Let's continue and look for Miss Tribe, Miss Homelands. Forge Pound Apprentice, Forge Pound Apprentice. Leeton's Crossing may not be the best place to live, but it's a great place to get materials. Oh, bronze stack. Is it better than what Verse has? Oh, actually, yes, it is. Lucky us. So let's give this to Verse. Oh wait. Tusk Claw, it's this one. So wait, it's better. It this is better than out. This is better than Tusk Claw. This exquisite weapon. Well, I guess it is. Guess we are. Guess we are gonna sell this then. Hey, you, dude. 
I just wanna sell you some shit. At least by getting some money from that. Kinda feels like that buying that was a waste. Now, er, in the last episode, in case you remember. Yeah, let's sell that. We got at least a little bit of money. Is the forge pound here? Zadia, or wh whatever her name was. Difficult to pronounce. This looks like the place. Right. Now, where is she? Or at least I assume it, it's a she. Oh. Master, the Fate Binder is here. Yeah, it's a she. Znedia. Can, can't pronounce that name. Snedia turns and approaches you. Her lit, her lit body moving fluidly as she walks. She stops before you. Her stance solid and solid and sure. But you see, but you see, she is standing lightly on her feet, ready to move if necessary. She never takes her eyes off of you, but you know she is accurately aware of her surroundings. Fate Binder, may the fires of your forge never cool. She salutes you. I had hoped our paths would cross. Is that so? Word has reached my ears of, of, of your hand in, in removing the Edict of Storms from Sentinel Stand Keep. She nods to you in a small salute. That was no small feat. I would ask you how you, how you did it, but I'm sure you have more important things to talk about. In my years leading the Forge Pound, I have never heard of a Fate Binder accomplishing something of such, of such significance. It is an honor to meet someone of such dis distinguished need deeds. And in case you're wondering what these Forge Pounds are, well, there you go. You have a read. Pause and read. In there. What can this servant of the flame do for you? Why have you come to Lytton's Crossing? What an odd question, Fate Binder. Well, I had no other no options there. When you showed up in the forge, I thought you had, had been sent to check up on me, as my mission came directly from Tunon. Shouldn't you already know? I was tasked with, with creating an artifact to protect the forge bound from the bane. We have been delayed too often and lost too many of our own, so it was decreed that something must be done. I created the uh, Mage Bane Helm to keep the Bane at bay. Once the helm, helm is in place, its magic will keep the Bane locked away inside the old walls. But haven't we been inside the old walls already? Our goals are the same. I was sent to ensure the Forgebound can continue making weapons for the disfavored. Why did you create, create a helm? Well, she kinda just told us. Why do the Forgebound stay here if the Bane are such a threat? Well, I, I, I would guess it's it, it because of the materials they have available here. Why were you asked to create this item? Couldn't any forge bound here do it? I was sent to ensure that all that all, all was well with the forge bound. Everything seems in order. Here, I will take my leave. Actually, no. Our goals are the same. I was sent to ensure, ensure the forge bound can continue making weapons for the disfavored. Then you are in luck. Once the helm has been placed, the interruptions caused by the bane will be no more and then Forge Pound can truly return to their work. Stupid question, but why did you create the helm? The Forge Pound are crafters of weapons and armor, Fate Binder, not, not statues and baubles. I make what I know. It is also portable and can be moved easily or used in battle should its protection be needed elsewhere in the future. For the time being though, it will remain here, protecting the Forge Pound. We have a job to do and cannot do it probably if we are constantly assaulted by outside forces. Mm -hmm. Why do the forge bound stay here if the bane are such a threat? This forge is in, in the shadow of the old walls, in an area rich with iron. Yeah, I figured. We have we have ample up, we have ample supply of raw materi material and the influence of ancient magics. It's an acceptable risk, and with the helm in place, the bane will no longer be an issue. Why are you? Uh, why were you asked to create this item? Couldn't any forge bound here do it? All Forgebound are masters at their craft, but each also ha has their special talents. The Mage Bane required someone whose skills were well above those who haven't been practicing as long as I have. Tunon wanted the masterpiece, so he asked the master. Fair enough. I don't really care about this. I was sent to ensure all, all was well, all was well with, with the Forgebound. Everything seems in order. I will take my leave. As you wish, Fatebinder. I was just on my way to place the helmet. If you wouldn't mind, I would like you to join us. The settlers have created a spot on the third tier. I will meet you there. Alright. And verse got a level.
Well, guess we are going there soon. Eldian. The sunburned man tips his head in greeting. An outsider never arrives alone. At least, th that is what my mother always said. Seems she knew what she was talking about. He nods thoughtfully at his own words. I'm Eldian. Welcome to Leeton's Crossing. Well, if it isn't Toonon's Fatebinder, welcome back to the crossing. Haven't seen you around here since you put the Scarlet Chorus in charge of everything. Eldian looks you over. Must say my memory seem seems to be failing. Something I never thought I would say, he winks. The way people talk about how you how you came through and drove the Brotherhood out of out of town. You should be ten feet tall and, sh and shoot lightning from your eyes. I seem to remember you being a little more human. For instance, who would give the town to the Scarlet Chorus and then walk, walk in and, and kill them all? Uh, wait, for instance, who would give the town to the Scarlet Chorus and then walk in and kill them all? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I just killed them. Not that I will miss the violence and chaos, but one, but one has to wonder why, why you would switch sides so readily. Well, I wasn't really planning to. They attacked me. They didn't really give me much of a choice. But, but, but enough of my prattling. You didn't come here for a history lesson or to get my opinion of your gratineur. Indeed, I didn't. He waves his hand dismissively at his previous comments. What can I? What? What can this old fool do for you? Can I ask you some questions about Legion's Crossing? Well, let's see what we can ask. If you have questions about our settlement, I'm the one to ask. I'm the dubious di distinction of the of of being the oldest living resident of Legion's Crossing. So I have been here for a lot of its history. Eldian smiles. Eyes, hips, hair, and here. And hearing might be failing, but my mind still, still, still remembers everything that happened here. What would you like to know about? I'll do my best not to go on too long about it. I know I, I have a problem keeping my conversation short. I would like to ask you about the crossing's history. Mm, I really care. What can you tell me about the Spire and Legion's crossing? Tell me about your thoughts on the Bronze Brotherhood. Tell me about what you think of Tripti's favorite. How have, how have your interactions been with the Scarlet, the Scarlet Chorus been? I'm pretty sure I'm going to need directions around here. Well, let's ask about what they think about Scarlet Scarlet Chorus first. There are there are days I there are days when I think we would be, be we would be fair better with the Bronze Brotherhood holding our throats. For a long moment, he stares at you, formulating his words. I know better than to speak out than to speak out, out, out of turn on the matters of the voices and the chorus. Say what you will of the Scarlet Chorus, we call ourselves far worse, but I can't guarantee that, indeed, that you'll keep your tongue. Eldian faces flushes and he shakes his head. That's all I will say, there is danger in saying too much. Are you ignoring my question? Because I, got, I get violent when I repeat myself. Well, let's, let's intimidate a little bit. Eldian's eyes slowly travel to verse and he holds his position, not saying anything. Just answer the question, old man. I promise to control my temper. Uh, I uh, I don't wish to endanger anyone. I anyone is all, but Eldian scans in both directions. His voice barely rising above a whisper. The Scarlet Scourge is applied upon us. My niece, my nephew, and a, and a score of our best farmhands were forcibly forcibly constri conscripted into that sickening mob. Soon we'll all be part of the swarm, swarm, and and there will be no one in the village to protect. Let me ask you something else. What about the disfavored? I didn't get to spend much time with them, but I will say that they were not happy leaving the cross crossing in Scorer's hands. Yeah, I bet. Rumors, are, rumors about how strict the disfavored are were when given an order must be true because they left even though it was obvious they didn't want to. And tell me about your thoughts on this Bronze Brotherhood. They were here since the crossing was founded. Leithen herself hired them to protect the settlement when it was just getting started. A fledgling, a fledgling town in the shadow of the old walls. And they did such such a good job. She kept them she, she kept them on as our peacekeepers, and that's how things went. At least until you decided to oust them, oust them and put and put someone else in their place. And in case you're wondering what he is referring to, it's one of my conquest decisions. So what did I do again? The Prince Brotherhood were the original protectors of Legion's Crossing, but they passed control uh, to Kairos' forces and stayed as retainers. Over time, they proved too disorganized to keep the peace. You handed the settlement over, over to the Scarlet Chorus. Not perhaps the best possible uh, decision from my, from my part, to be honest. Letting fear and superior numbers do the work of sub subduing the local populace. 
The Brotherhood mercenaries consider this slight, uh, slight on their lawful claim. All right. Can't say I wouldn't have done the same, to be told. Taking pay from two employers is always going to end badly if you can't make both of them happy. On top of that, it seems lately that Rai Tommon, so that was this asshole's name, is traveling a path no one can see, and I don't want to see and see what's what's at the end of it. What can you tell me about this spire in Leithen's Crossing? Eldian shakes his head. Sometimes I wonder why Leithen thought it was a good idea to settle here. We already had a bane problem before the Forgebound set up here. Now that they are using the crossing as, as one of their main forges, the bane issue is even worse. Since the bane are drawn to magical energy, we have to be on constant alert uh, for them escaping. How did you seal the door? Will you let me into the old walls? How did you seal the door? I have a keystone that, that can be used to open or seal the door. One of Kairos' soldiers found it while they were looking for a way to seal the do doors to keep the bane from escaping. The sealed door is only a temporary measure, though. It holds the bane back for now, but it won't last last for much longer. That's what that is why Tunon instructed Zenia to create an artifact to protect Leiden's crossing from the bane. Will you let me into old walls? I'm afraid that's a risk. I'm not willing to take, Fate Binder. Once the doors are unsealed, there is a good chance Bane will flo flood into Kruleton's crossing. As much as I would love to help you, I can't endanger the town like that. Well, fine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need directions around here. Mm, nah, I don't think so. I have other questions? Actually, no, I don't. Let's just be on our way. Of course, I must go to the spire to make sure everything is ready. I'll meet you there when Zvenia is ready to place the artifact. Jesus Christ, that name. Zvenia. How the hell are you? How, how are you supposed to spell that? Now, let's see if these guys have, have anything to sell. Ulanti's master of casting. Ulanti surveys the room with an air of superiority. He addresses you without making eye contact. Is there something you want? Forge supply cache is now unlocked on the world map. Ulantis catches the stare of Lohara, who beams at him, expecting something to occur. Ulantis signs and signs strategically before turning his attention back to you with a strange smile. Forgive me, Fate Binder. Lohara instructed me to reward you for your aid during the conquest. The constricted beastman helped us forge countless iron materials. And is another conquest decision? Mm, yep. The constricted, constricted beastmen helped us forge countless iron materials, and in, and in return, I, I am to show you the location of a supply cache. Ulantis takes your map into his hands and circles, circles a small clearing in Haven. Is there a problem? His eyes carefully watch, watch Lohara as he answers you. Yes, but these are forge bound matters. Nothing that, not, nothing that concerns the High Court of Tunon, I can assure you. Hmm, what do you do here in the forge? I don't really care. Alright, fair enough. Hmm, Lohara, master of tam mm, tempering. A muscular woman stands upright from her forge and turns to look at you. The light of the fire playing ac across her face, making her eyes stand dangerously. A toothy smile breaks in across her mouth, the only bright spot on her suit-stained face. Do you, do you kill with your left hand or your right? Interesting question. She rubs, uh, she rubs blackened palms together, eyeing you expectantly. Normally, I can tell, tell at glance, but you are a little harder to read. <laughs> Clear at her. Why would you like to know? Is that how is is that how they say hello in your hometown? Uh, actually, I don't even know. Uh, is that how you is that how they say hello in your hometown? Do you also answer questions with questions? Well, what a smart ass. She flashes more pure, purely teeth and chuckles softly to herself. It's a simple question, child. Hey, don't call me child, you. Well, whatever. When you swing a tool to end another life, which hand do you use? Well, uh, pff, I guess we are right-handed. Right. Know that she clears her throat and wipes her blackened hands on the canvas of her smock. I am Lohara, master of tempering and forge master of Leighton's Crossing. My tasks ex exceed the hours left in the day, but there is no harm in pausing my work if it means speaking with the fate binder. I'm honored. How may I be of assistance? Why did you want to know if I kill with my right or left hand? Now yeah, let's ask that. The gauntlet is the hardest piece of the pan panoply, and the most rewarding to work. 
So many scales, so many scales of so many different sizes. Then there's the rivets. She slides her thumb and fingers together, shedding flecks of soot and iron dust. I imagine you see a lot of battle in your line of work. One gauntlet is invariably going to wear out before the other. My mind is always thinking on what will need repairs first. It's as simple as that. Alright. Dedicated to your work, I see. Admirable. Tell me about Leto's Crossing, tell me about the Forge Bomb, tell me about the Scarlet Colors. Can you make something for me? Are you well? You look weary. Conquest. How have the disfavored fared with the weapons we sent them? You have gained favor with Forge Bound. Luhara shrugs. Very well, I would. Very well, I would assume, and in case you're wondering, uh, this is one of my uh, conquest decisions. When the disfavored and Scarlet Colors of Officer appeal to you for access to iron weapons. You grant it a sword to the disfavored officer, trusting in the elite legion to use the iron responsibly and remember the fa favor done in their name. The disfavored know how to handle their weapons, and they were and they and they were made by the forge bound, so they are high quality and will never fail them as long as they take care of them. I don't normally track where my weapons go or what or what is done with them. I finish one job and start the next. Are you well? You look weary. Ecstatic. Her voice is matter of fact and, and a smile creeps in. The ritual of the forge links heart to hammer. My blood beats only when I strike my ingot. My forge runs too hot if my breath becomes too hurried. The bond is both fatiguing and, and exhilarating. Couldn't that kill you? Is that how you accept at, the, at your craft? Fascinating. Let's speak, other, let's speak of other matters. Couldn't that kill you? I should hope so. She laughs, her face plushing at the color of molten metal. Better than being defiled and killed by brigands, poisoned by grain or by rot, grain rot, or slain by ch childbirth, would not would not a soldier wish to die in battle? I guess so. Is that how you excel at your craft? Well, that and practice. She scowls. But yes, the ritual rituals link the sense to the materials and the body to the tools. My hand becomes joined. The hammer, the hammer, the hammer, the true end of my arm. I feel the heat of the forge as if it were the, the weather of the room. Under such circumstances, true focus and true photos can emerge. Fascinating. Mm, can you make something for me? Can? She lifts an eyebrow. Most certainly. Will? Well, Kairos invented cues for a reason. She she lets slip aside. I have I have every Iron Walker and every Scarlet Chorus ringleader sending me bribes and flattery in hopes that I'll work off I'll work off schedule and make them some special of this or one of one of a kind that. Her mouth moves moves as if to speak, but she falls silent, folding her arms. I did not realize the request was so thoughtless. My apologies. I will pay you very well, very well. Hmm. Uh. I did not realize the request was so thoughtless. My apologies. You have gained favor with the forge pound? I get unreasonable demands every day, but it's not but it's not the volume, it's the purpose. She lowers her voice to near whisper and steps closer to you. I do resent the Kairos' demands, reduce our work work to mere quotes. I should be allowed to customize my work for every soldier. Only apprentices have anything to learn from making the same size helmet again and again. For, uh, forget I asked. That I will. Alright. Uh, man, lastly, tell me about the Scarlet Chorus. My master had a saying that the Scarlet Chorus always brings to mind. Good iron is for swords, not nails. Good minds are for thinkers, not warriors. Luhara shakes her head, scowling. Kairos is wise and must see something in the voice of Nera that I do not. We are sworn to Kairos and thus allies of the Chorus. I should not speak out of out of turn. All right, I must be going. Now, is there a merchant here? It's hot. Don't touch it. <laughs> All right, I won't. I, and even though I was I was I was wanting to touch it so damn much, but apparently I can't because it's too hot. We only sell to members of Kairos armies, and you, of course, Fate Bunter. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I guess that we don't. There's, there's no merchants here. Well, all right, whatever. Well, I guess we go to whatever that place's name was, where that Zenia is going to place that helm. Guess we are going to go and see how it goes. Oh, 
All right. There's some loot here. Somewhere. Or at least that's what the map tells me. Uh, I don't know. Never mind. Now, where is it? Is it somewhere here? Hmm? Zenia, Master of the Forge. Oh, there she is. Now, can we get there? Old Wall Store. Oh, this is the Old Wall Store. Okay. How do we get there? Well, I guess I guess they I guess these people know. Ah, this way. Oh wait, is there loot anywhere here? There must be loot. There we go. Yeah, just a fish. What about here? Don't worry folks, I I'll go there as soon as I pick this up, I promise. Nah, just more food and stuff. Can't do that. I should I should use food and and stuff more when uh, when I'm in combat. Could actually help me. Is there loot here? Ah, oh, it's there, but never mind. All right, let's see what happens. It is done. Good, good. Now the people of Leeton's Crossing have one less thing they must worry about. Fatebinder, will you go inside and see what effect the helm is having on the bane? Oh, so now I can go in there. You're just going to leave it sitting there out in the open? You are asking the Fatebinder to check on something. I'm sure I could be convinced to help if I were probably compensated. You are asking me to break... You are asking me to play, break the law after all. Oh yeah, um, we are not... We are not allowed to go into all walls. <laughs> You are just going to leave leave it sitting sitting there out in the open? Give me some credit, Fatebinder. I haven't cast a protection magic on it yet, but before I do that, someone needs to go inside the old walls and ensure everything is working properly. She looks at LD and raises her eyebrows. I'm sorry, Zenia, but the safety of the crossing and its citizens is my top priority. I don't doubt you, but I need to know the ban bane are contained. You are asking a Fatebinder to check on something? I'm afraid that's exactly what I'm doing, Fatebinder. After all the deaths caused by the Bane, no one in the crossing is willing to set foot inside. You are the only one who can possibly take take on the Bane if the helm isn't working. Ah, oh, God, those goddamn Banes. I can't believe you doubt my skills, Eldian. I am not a simple apprentice. I am the master of the forge. I, al I already apologize, Zenia. It's not, a it's not that I doubt your abilities, but I cannot consider this until I'm uh, until we know there won't be any more problems. I'm sure I could be convinced to help if I were properly compensated. You are asking me to break to break the law after all. Yeah, oh, there we go. Eldian's mouth drops open. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know that would be a requirement, Fatebinder. If payment for assisting the helpless is what you need, then you will get it. He hands you his ring belt. Take it all. I just need to know my citizens are safe. There we go. The party has received Litton's cross in Old War's keystone. He holds out a small stone with cliffs ed etched on it. Take this. It is the it is the keystone to enter the old walls. The entrance is directly below us. And good luck. So how much did we get? Not a whole lot. I guess we just got uh, over one thousand copper rings. But that's better Will than do. nothing. I mean, we need to need the money. Otherwise, I wouldn't I wouldn't have taken it because, well, I, I was kind of asking for bribery. Oh yeah, verse got a level. Forgot forgot about that completely. Now, where should I give you? Hmm. I guess we're gonna give you some more health. And then here. Mhm. Mm Let's go plot calls to plot. Melee critical hits damage enemies near their target. Sounds good to me. And now there is there was this one piece of loot that I wanted to pick up that I missed earlier. Nah, nothing too interesting. Well, I guess we go inside here. Use the keystone. Oh, it's one of these dungeons. 
Well, obviously, because it's a spire, the same the same kind of spire as the one we, uh, the the one where, that was in Old Walls Breach. All right. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna end this episode. Oh. Who wants to wake up? We ha we have disturbed the bane. Any takers? Well, guess we're not gonna end this episode here. The bane approach. Hey, Get ready. Guess we are not. Uh, verse. Go and help uh, Eep. Actually, no. Everyone, come here. Come here. Uh, Now then, what to do? Sorry about that. Oh, barricade a level as well. Nice. Count. Hmm. Uh. Verse got lots of lore knowledge. All right, I don't know where that where that that came from, but I take it. Just targeted already. Oh, that one died. All right. Well, at least it looks like it died. Won't have. What a rush. Oh shit, I'm and I'm wounded, of course, of course. Oh wait, they died. Of course they died, right before I got the damn uh, wound. So wait, can I remove that wound using this? Now oh, wait, where is the potion? Who got the potions? Barrick, of course. Hmm. Plus 35% health, removes wounds removed, and revive. And I should give this. And what was this again? Actually, this doesn't really. What? Did I accidentally use it? Well, apparently I did. Well, doesn't matter. All right, uh, let's give you some stats. Stats, stats, stats. Hmm. Hmm. Give you some more bonus health. And then what do we have here? Ah. Oh. For each enemy engaging, Barrick gains a bonus to any damage he deals. Increase the chance for Barrick's engagement attack to occur. Allows Barrick to engage an additional enemy. Well, let's pick that. Then who else got a level? Oh yeah, it's me, it's me, but let's uh, save that. Oh wait, uh, let's rest here. Right. All right. right. Now I'm going to uh, uh, now I'm going to end this uh, end this ep episode here. So, thank so thank you for watching one, once again, and see you next time for more tyranny.